Hey guys, in this video tutorial, we will be learning about bacterial chemotaxis. Bacterial chemotaxis is the movement of bacteria towards any attractant or repellent on the basis of flagellar movement. So, let's see the mechanism of chemotaxis. The ligand first binds to a MCP receptor. The ligand may be an attractant or repellent. The MCP receptor is methyl accepting protein receptor. When the ligand binding to the receptor, the receptor changes its conformation so that the methyl group is accepted by the receptor. After the conformational change in the receptor, it activates two protein system that is CHEW and CHEA. The CHEW is known as transducer protein and CHEA is known as sensory kinase protein. When the signal from the MCB receptor come to CHW, it transduces it to the CHEA and the CHEA autophosphorylate itself at histidine residue. After the autophosphorylation, the CHEA activate CHEY, which in turn activate a protein complex known as FMS or flagellar motor switching protein. The FMS or flagellar motor switching protein consists of three protein FLIN, FLIM and FLIG. The activation is done depend upon the ligand. If the ligand is a nutrient, so the bacterial shows the forward movement and uh, this flagella, the black bacterial flagella move counterclockwise and if the chemical compound is toxic the movement the bacterial show backward movement and this flagellar movement shows clockwise movement so it is a uh, question from bacterial chemotaxis uh, in uh, december net uh, 2018 just pause the video and uh, try to understand the question. Uh, here giving some data about bacterial chemotaxis and uh, in the question it's asking that uh, which one of the following characteristic regarding chemotaxis is not true. So the option A given is uh, the receptor are dimeric exactly true. Uh, transmembrane protein that bind to specific attractant and repellent on the outside of the trans of the plasma membrane. So it is correct because the uh, attractant or repellent are in the form of ligand that bind to the uh, receptor. Uh, option B given is the cytoplasmic tail of the receptor stably associated with histidine kinase CHEA via an adapter protein CHEW. Actually, this statement is also correct because we know that the CHEW protein transduces the signal from uh, the MCP receptor uh, to the CHEA and the CHEA then cross autophosphorylate itself at the histidine residue. The C option is the receptor and its associated protein are clustered at one end of the cell. Actually, this statement is also correct because the MCP receptor and the uh, CHEA and CHEW, CHY protein that clustered at one end of the cell. The op option 4 is the winding of the attractant and uh, the binding of attractant increase the activity and the of the receptor whereas binding of repellent decrease the activity. No, no, no. no. It is does not increase or decrease its activity, it's only do one thing, it 
uh, rotate the flagella in clockwise and counterclockwise direction so that it can move forward and backward thanks for watching if it is anyway helpful to you then please subscribe the channel for more updates like this